like you just press the start button. So I normally don't make videos specifically dedicated to comments written on my videos, however this comment struck out to me and I thought that I'd make a video on this particular topic right at hand. As you can tell, right down below, there's the comment which I will be answering. It says, can you please do a video about what to do if my girlfriend broke up with me and I feel as if my other half is missing and I have no motivation to even live. I feel like I'm empty inside. Thumbs up so he can at least see it. And well, obviously, I did see it. And today's topic is relationships, specifically ex-boyfriends and girlfriends. And just for clarification, I am speaking of both genders, whether you're lesbian, gay, heterosexual, whatever, this video applies to all relationships. So let's say your significant other, woman or guy, dumps you. That person then becomes what is known formally as your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend. So the question then remains, what do you do to get over an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend? And it's really quite simple. Notice I said it was simple, not easy. When my relationship ended in September of 2009, it was probably the most second or third hardest thing that I had to endure in my life. Not only because I actually cared for this person, but I truly and deeply love them. Even to this day in 2012, I'm still unaware as to why she ended the relationship. But what I can say is that I took it very hard, I felt empty, I felt sad, I felt lonely, and I, at one point, wanted to end my life because of a girl. It wasn't just that, though. When she dumped me, we were in the, going to the same college together. In fact, we were in two of the same college classes together. We specifically set up our classes so we would be in the same classes together as boyfriend and girlfriend. But it just so happens in the first week of college, she dumped me. As to why, I still don't know. But what I do know is that after she dumped me, I dropped the one class that I was in with her, which was Spanish, and then I remained in the English class throughout the rest of the quarter with her. The hardest part of that experience was not only that right after the relationship, she started giving other guys in the classroom attention while completely ignoring. She wouldn't give me eye contact. She wouldn't even speak to me. Throughout the entire first quarter of school that I ever attended, that entire quarter of school, she spoke to me four or five times in a total of three months. But the hardest thing was watching her give attention to another guy by the name of Josh. I still remember Josh specifically and what he looked like. He had blonde hair. He was buff, muscular, and he was a football player. At this moment, I instantly started comparing myself and saying, she just dumped me after a two-year-long relationship. I have feelings for this person. I'm feeling empty, and here she is. I'm in the same class with her, and she's giving other guys attention. She won't talk to me, won't give me eye contact. She just ignores me, and we're in the same class together. At this point, I didn't know what to do. I was feeling empty. I was feeling lonely. But more so, I was feeling angry rejected, betrayed, and taken advantage of. Even after she broke up with me, we were still friends on Facebook. And this is the key point. If you want to get over an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend, you must be the person to cut contact with them. You have to be that person. I found this out the hard way. After fall quarter ended, we were still friends on Facebook. I was friends with my ex-girlfriend over Facebook. This ultimately led to me going on her Facebook and viewing what people would write on her wall, such as little comments like, hey baby, hey cutie. In fact, I have a, such a distinct memory of all the things that were written on her wall with flirtatious comments from other men who I had no idea who they were. I remember every single one of them in my head. After months and months went by, I continued to keep her as a friend on Facebook, and this was the ultimate problem. If your boyfriend or girlfriend has dumped you, this means the relationship has ended. And if you want to recover from this, this means that you need to take the effort to delete them from your Facebook so you will not be tempted and you will not look at their Facebook wall or even see things written by them to other guys or girls. Because if you don't delete them or block them, you will start to feel incredibly insecure, you will start to feel depressed, you will feel empty, you will feel betrayed, you will feel taken advantage of, especially when you love this person and you invested so much time and effort into the relationship at hand. And believe me, it's not going to be easy to delete your significant other off of Facebook or block them, but that's what you need to do. If you refuse to cut out your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend in your life, you will feel empty. Even if your ex-girlfriend or ex-boyfriend tries to get in contact with you again and tries to re-add you on Facebook or Twitter or whatever social networking site you're dealing with, don't do it. The insecurities and emptiness that I felt from 
reading her Facebook, from trying to befriend her, was indescribable. Trying to be friends with your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend is kind of like having a vet give you your dog back dead. Well, here's your dog. We fixed your dog. Your do you're, you can hug and you can kiss your dog. It's dead though, but it's still a dog. Now let me tell you what I'm not saying. I'm not saying that you cannot reconcile with an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend and reaffirm the relationship and get back together. I'm not saying that. However, if your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend has made it very clear that they do not want a relationship anymore, you have to move on. And part of moving on means that you have to gain the control and the responsibility to be able to delete them out of your life, because if you don't, you will feel empty. You will feel insecure when you see other guys or her giving attention to other men. For me personally, it has taken a lot of time to realize this. And just recently, as in this year of 2012, I have actually let go of my past ex-girlfriend. There happen to be many reasons for this, as number one, she doesn't care for me. Number two, she doesn't care if I lived or died. Number three, it was a one-sided relationship. I was always the person trying to invest time and effort and money into the relationship. It was always one-sided. And number four, she recently took me to court as of two th January of 2012 over a Twitter message that was sent by me when I asked her the simple, simple question, why did you take advantage of me? That's all I asked, and she took me to court trying to get an anti-harassment order put on me from a Twitter message asking, why did you take advantage of me? If that does not show the type of person that I was dealing with, I don't know what does. So this is what the video boils down to. If you have a boyfriend or girlfriend, and they've dumped you, and they don't want anything to do with you, you have to let them go, and this means you taking the action to cut them out of your life. Because if you don't, you will feel more empty than you already will. Because if you naturally care for someone, naturally love someone, when they walk out of your life, you're going to feel sad, you're going to feel empty. But if you continue to pursue that relationship or try to pursue that friendship with that person who doesn't want anything to do with you, you're ultimately going to bring a destructive... Uh, behavior and pattern down on yourself from pursuing this. And finally, I'd like to end the video with this. No girl is worth taking your life over. From personal experience, it's not worth it. And by all means, if the person doesn't even care for you, much less care if you even were to die, what would committing suicide really do? She or he wouldn't care. So you'd be taking your life over someone who doesn't even remotely care about you. If that's not pure ignorance, I don't know what is. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, I did try to take my life once over a girl. And I can say it's not worth it. I'm Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Soulsbach. Hope this helped those people out there who don't know how to get over an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend. This is the biggest step. And that biggest step is you taking action of cutting that person out of your life. But one more thing, I have a piece of advice, and this I posted on my Facebook just about an hour ago. I think you should be friends before being boyfriend or girlfriend. You know what you're getting into, and it will save you a lot of heartbreak on your quest to find the one. You need to feel comfortable around the person before you can give yourself away. I think relationships last longer this way. I want a relationship where we're not only boyfriend and girlfriend, but best friends at the same time. That's one of the dreams I have, and I think those are the best relationships. I wrote this on my Facebook just an hour ago, and I think it stands. Become friends before you become boyfriend and girlfriend. I'm Mr. Repsion, also known as Daniel Solzbach. Peace the rep out.